Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty. Today we have the Texas State Bobcats 1 and 4 on our schedule. Another Sun Belt game and we do have some recruiting. I have updated some things, uh, and the recruiting's been interesting so far this year. We also have a head coach upgrade as well, which I will spend. Uh, and we are in the lead on some talented players. Other players, not so much. Like, I'm not really even sure if we're going to have a shot at Adam Wheeler. I'd really like to get him. I think he's an incredible safety, obviously. But it's going to be a really, really uh, tight race against Oklahoma. I just don't think we're going to be able to get it done at the end of the day. We're in the lead on Tony Gates. A 77 overall four-star athlete. It looks like we might be able to get him. So I'm excited about that. He looks like he could probably be uh, a wide receiver with decent speed. I love 93 speed. Uh, I think he's probably a wide receiver for sure. And then Andy Curry's a decent defensive end. We're in the lead on him. We're in the lead on uh, some other guys as well. We lost it on Mike Marshall. Uh, and we're trying to get it back on Claude Rose, who's a very good center. I remember him being like a gem. Yeah, 72 overall, plus 6. And then Omar Williams, I don't think we're going to be able to get him. I really went all out from start to finish trying to bring him to Ozark State. He is a 5-star receiver out of Bell Chasse. Wait, Bell Chasse? Chase? I don't know how that's pronounced. Uh, Louisiana. And it's very close to his home. And it just... It's probably not going to be able to happen. He's a very very good player i want to add him to the team six foot four elite speed and we barely managed to stay uh and make the cut i just don't think we're going to be able to get him but i'm going to try to because you never know he's on the uh recruiting uh, visit list here in week 14 so it's kind of far down the line we'll have to see what happens but i am trying to get these players and i want ozark state to be a powerhouse it starts with getting some of these four and five star players. Five star is a little bit more unrealistic, obviously, but I think it's not impossible to say that we could get some of these uh, these four star guys. Let's go ahead. What week is it now? I don't want to buy that if it's like week six. We're in week nine, so that wouldn't matter at all. We are going to purchase. I think let's not do locksmith. Let's do royal treatment. I think that's going to matter when uh, players actually come to visit, and we have a bunch on the schedule for that. So I'm excited to take on Texas State. I think we can beat them pretty handily. Texas State on paper is slightly better than we are, but I think we should be able to handle them. I don't remember what offense they ran last year. My guess is whatever it is, we probably won't be able to stop it, so we need another huge performance out of our quarterback in Colby Spencer, which I'm sure he's capable of. Here we go, Ozark State versus Texas State at Bobcat Stadium. This is the smallest crowd we've played against in some time now. And it's good for Texas State because they won't have to watch their team get smashed by the Outlaws. Pants, Prince going to take off. Just wrap up, please. Oh, man. Oh, that's actually a handoff to Mayberry. You can just tell with the state of our defense. It's just every game is going to be a struggle. Third and two. It's a read option, and it's a successful one. That's a good block by the receiver downfield as well. And Blankenship knocks him out after a gain of 24 yards. It's a read option. It's a triple option, actually. But Prince has nowhere to go. He's bet, uh, met by number 58, Dante Jean. And it's going to bring up third down and 10. That's open in the end zone. No. P.J. Anderson with the touchdown. Their quarterback is L.G. Williams now. I guess Prince got knocked out of the game. His first throw is on the money to a wide open receiver. His own defense kind of sucks. Man also sucks, but I think it sucks less. Colby Spencer had one hell of a game last week. Let's see what we can do this week against Texas State. Another Sun Belt matchup we need to get better in conference because we are currently not exactly sitting atop the sun belt today that could all change rob gaither comes close to the first down 
Rolling out, that's wide open. Lobbed it over the head of the defense and it's Ryan Muller. Oh, I wanted to go for the hurdle. That was probably a very bad decision. But we're picking up 44. Just patience. Rolling out. Love to do it. Finding the open man. We're going to take off with Colby Spencer. Easy touchdown. You can't cover everybody. Even if you cover all the receivers. We always have Colby Spencer out of the backfield. We've tied things up here in Texas. Get pressure. Bring him down. Don't let him get rid of the ball. We're going to turn up the heat. That's open. That's just, what are you going to do there? And of course, we can't tackle. That's open. No, and I overran it. I don't know how I could ever get a user pick in this game. I have won the entire series, I believe, with, believe it or not, Montreal Gardner. I have no idea how it happened. I'm not saying that that should have been one, but just saying I don't know how I'd ever get one. And I, I see I can't. I don't. I don't know. I can't tackle. I still have no idea how to do it. I feel like the wave is getting over there and then switching off. That's wide open in the end zone. So is that. And there's a flag. What is the flag going to be on that one? Did he step out of bounds and then came back in? I think he came back in after stepping out. Yeah, it's going to be illegal touching. We will accept that. That's a big penalty. It's a read option. Get off of it. Good tackle. Mayberry stopped on the goal line. There we go. Field goal is good. Texas State going to take a lead, but we are certainly not done. They got the football first as well, so I mean, we're still in business. Third and three. We're going to go short to the tight end, Rodriguez. Man, I really thought he'd have a more yards after the catch ability there. Absolutely none. We're going to have to punt. I don't see. I don't understand when I'm right on him and I don't get anything to animate. And I just kind of like run against him and then buy. I don't, I don't understand that. That's got to be mine. No. Uh, Tyler Watts with a 20-yard reception over Tariq Parrish. I really thought I was there. Obviously, I never am. This is a read option or something dumb. It's a handoff, and it's an easy touchdown by Stedman Mayberry. I just don't know how we're ever going to stop any team with this defense. Good read option. They're going to catch me from behind, though. Jesus. Slow down. Another third down. We kind of just haven't had an answer for, uh, I guess Karan Kirkpatrick just drops the ball. We haven't had an answer offensively or defensively. We've looked very, very bad against Texas State so far. We, this is not a game we can afford. We can't lose to these bum teams. Now, granted, we are one. That's a great tackle. Kachow, it's Lightning McQueen in the backfield. Great tackle for loss there from Rory. Another great tackle from Lightning McQueen. Can we get another Kachow? All he does is get tackled for loss. It's wide open. Huge hit from Blankenship. It, it, coverage is just broke down all across the board there. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. To run. Get over there. Mayberry's still breaking tackles, dude. Read option. Shut down. It's Jeff Fisher. And we're going to hold Texas State to another field goal. So the defense is playing a little bit better. Just where's the offense? Field goal is good. We need to get this offense going. Go Colby. Look at all the space for Colby Spencer down the sideline. We're going to step out after a gain of 30. That's just not... Oh my goodness, it's completed. That was to Karan Kirkpatrick, and it was an overthrow. Somehow, Jake Rodriguez, the tight end, works his way back to the football and catches it. That was to Karan Kirkpatrick. There we go, Scott Lewis. Great blocking. 
And a touchdown! Didn't think he was going to be able to break that, but the blocking was just so great. And Scotty Lewis has a touchdown. That's great stuff. Look at the blocks develop. Things are just perfect. Just perfect blocking, especially from number one, Karan Kirkpatrick. Oh, big hit. TV Williams. He goes by TV. Okay. Prince goes down in the backfield. That's number 99, Daryl Bradford. He is a redshirt freshman, I believe. He's super young. And he doesn't really make that many plays, but that's a great one. Run up the middle. Oh, my God. Bradbury broke it to the outside. He's got space as well. Finally wrapped up by Byron Fulton, but a big gain of 37. I thought we had that in the backfield. What in the world? Can somebody wrap him up? Are you kidding me? It's a speed option. And Prince has a first. Good stuff. Prince goes down again. Derek Higgins on the cornerback blitz. There we go. He lays a boom as well. To run. Oh, great tackle coming back across. I know Lightning Queen initiated. But then coming back, who was that? That was number 28. That was Stovall. To screen. Get over there. Tariq Parrish going to have to make a big tackle, and he does. Unbelievable. That's a great solo effort. Texas State going to settle for another field goal. Kick is up and right down the middle. Texas State going to go back ahead by a little bit more. 23 to 14. They extend it to nine points. We're not done. We can manage the clock well, get the ball back at the start of the third quarter, start of the second half. We're in business. This is a heavy blitz, huh? We might just send... Nah, this is going to be good. They kind of disguised it pretty well. I know we have RB. I don't think Colby Spencer can make that throw on the run. And what a great play by the defensive end. Easy and Yama. 0 for 2 on third down today. That's not going to win you games. It just, it just isn't. Not even sure what we can do here on, on third and long. Rolling out. Trying to find some space. Colby Spencer! Dragged down just short of the line to gain. We're in the 23, but... Is this a point where we could get aggressive? Colby Spencer's out. There's a minute and 24 left. I don't want to give them back the ball. I think they would score anyway. We don't really have a great punter. So I think it'd be a short punt, probably. Which would give them a really good opportunity to score the ball anyway with the time that they have and the timeouts. I think this is our best shot to stop them from scoring. And uh, we're actually... Can we flip this? No. I want to change this... Uh, this Warhawk defense. Here we go. Fourth and one. There we go, Rodriguez! It's actually Quincy Rust! My bad. Saw the big body. Thought it was uh, Jake Rodriguez, but there he is. Clearly number 81 and not 46. That's a great catch. And a very, very vital conversion. Pedro Cotter fumbles out of bounds. Down to our final timeout. Let's make something happen with Pedro. Rob Gaither, open... Jeez, we couldn't fit it over the linebacker. I wish high points were in this game because that's obviously wide open in the back of the end zone. We're going to throw that ball. Goddard can't put it on the money. We might have to settle for a field goal here. I think we will. Kick is good. We're going to bring it back. It's a touchdown game. We get the ball to start the second half. We can easily make this 24-23 with a TD. And hopefully Colby Spencer coming back in the game. I don't know where Colby Spencer is. Clearly this injury was somewhat serious. Oh my god. Scott Lewis! I thought we were going to get stopped there. That could have been so much more. But 
Great individual effort. Colby Spencer's got to be out for the game. He keeps getting concussed. I don't, like, stop having that happen. Goddard on the money for Rodriguez. Really wanted a touchdown. Tried to wait for a clear touchdown. But, uh, we don't get one. Oh my god, Scott Lewis, what are you doing? What a beast. Handoff goes to Darren Maxwell. He's got the touchdown, and that's exactly what we needed. We did exactly what we said we were going to do. No Colby Spencer, no problem. 24-23 Outlaws. It's a read option, no! Jeez, Texas State, you annoy me a lot. All you read option schools do, honestly. Anyone who runs the ball, anyone who is good offensively, I hate. I have no idea how to shot, uh, stop it or shut it down. Yeah, how about that? How about that? Bring him down! Let's go, Sandoval Slaughter! Third and 20. Let's just stop things from happening. Sandoval Slaughter again. That might take Texas State out of field goal range. That's a ridiculously long field goal. He almost had the leg. Didn't have the accuracy or the leg, and it turns out. We're back on offense. That's open. And we find Roland Francisco. I love the scramble drills because people just find a way to get open. Oh my goodness, what a disgusting juke to spin combo. It's the best five yard gain you're ever gonna see. Third down and five. That's gonna be a tough throw, but he makes it. Ryan Muller, touchdown. Pedro Goddard has had quite a game. 12 for 17, 182, and now a touchdown. Where did that come from? Are we voting for Pedro again? No. <laughs> Kobe Spencer's our quarterback. To run, wrap it up. I still don't know what to do in those spots. There we go. Good tackle. Lightning McQueen. No, no, uh, triple option. I don't need... That was not the way to defend it. That was not it. Fisher in the backfield. That's a great tackle. Byron Fulton just waiting on him. It's a handoff. Somebody better stop it. There we go. Sandoval Slaughter. He's playing like an animal today. Check down, Sandoval Slaughter gets to him. Doesn't get another sack to his resume, but he is wreaking havoc right now. This is so deep, you're not hitting this. It, well, I mean, this is makeable, maybe. It, this is gonna be tough though, I just don't think it's possible for him. It's gonna have the leg and the accuracy, it won't have the leg. We're gonna return this with Scott Lewis. I th that one looked pretty good to be honest. And uh, we barely return it past the 20. All right, that's the end of the third quarter. We are playing very well with Pedro Goddard at the helm. Time to turn on conservative tempo. And I probably should have conservative catching as well. Uh, and let's end this game. Third and six, rolling out with Goddard. We have an open man. It's Rob Gaither. 20-yard pickup on third down. Goddard has nothing but room. We're just going to step out of bounds, I think. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Third and inches. Scott, get the first down. Thank you. Go, Lewis. Speed option. Goddard, just slide. I don't want to throw an interception here. Turnover would be brutal. We're going to run... A sweep to Karan Kirkpatrick, and that's just a great play. Great play by the defense. Easy and Yama's had a great game. If 
Field goal is up and good. 69 puts it right in there. Pete Riley is a beast. And Ole Miss is upset number 16, Arkansas. Yikes. Sandoval Slaughter wrapping up. There we go, baby. The screen. Get over there, Simeon. Simeon Petty with a great play. Texas State is getting shut down now. They're taking a shot deep, and that's open to Williams. Oh my God. I want to turn off the TV after that catch. Are you kidding me? Gabe Schrade. I remember him last year. He was also a problem. Just over a minute remaining. Prince gonna roll out, throws it! And it's a touchdown to Elijah King. Wow. Texas State right back in this thing. And that's over the middle and complete. The Bobcats have brought it back to within a field goal. We need to uh, go ahead and recover this onside kick. Rob Gaither gets it, and he goes down. A minute to go, let's just kill some clock. Great broken tackle by Scott Lewis, and that's gonna do it here. All we needed was a first down. We got it. Good block by Darren Maxwell. We're just gonna go ahead and slide, not risk it. And that is your ball game. Good win versus the Bobcats today. It's a shame that Kobe Spencer went out. But we had some guys step up. Scott Lewis was great. Pedro Goddard was excellent in, I guess, relief, you could say, off the bench. So you love to see that. Defense, I mean, we allowed 31 points, but the points are going to happen. I think we did pretty well overall. Kobe Spencer was great before uh, injury. And then, of course, Scott Lewis had a really good game. Uh, receiving... I mean, nothing major stat-wise. And then defensively, how can you not talk about Sandoval Slaughter? The redshirt freshman with just a fantastic game. Two sacks. Good stuff. And we got locked out by Omar Williams. That is unfortunate. We might want to use our break. I think we have a lock break, but that'll be in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time in another Sun Belt matchup against Arkansas State. See you then. Take it easy.